Greetings to each and every one of you in the community. I'm honored that you decided to um, stop by um, so that we can come together to give glory and honor to the God who continues to keep us, continues to provide for us, and continues to be that light in our life, that light of hope, that light of peace, that light of joy, that light of serenity, that light that guides us through our day. And so as we begin to enter into this time of meditation, you are encouraged to get comfortable, to allow yourself to be in a space where you are not distracted or deterred in any way, to lay aside your agenda, to lay aside the things that you didn't get done yesterday, but to just allow yourself to be present in this very moment. Present so that you can receive what the Holy Spirit wants to speak into you today and the ways that the Lord wants to guide you. It is so important for us to know that we want to be in alignment with God. We don't want to be ahead of Him or behind Him, but we want to allow our lives to align with His will and with His way. And I was reading this morning in the book of Judges and just where it just continues to talk about the disobedience of the people of Israel. Mm -hmm. And in listening and reading all of what was said in that passages of in those passages of scripture, it just reminds me that even when we do what is considered evil in the sight of the Lord, he continues to forgive us. He continues to show grace upon us. He continues to let us know that even in our imperfection, that he is making us perfect. And so he gives us chance after chance after chance. And, you know, in knowing that, it is so important for us to humble ourselves into his presence. To continually ask for forgiveness and to allow God to bring clarity and revelation to us so that we won't make the same mistake, so that we won't continue to um, do evil in the sight of God, but that we grow, that we learn, and that we become a perfected people. So let us just join in at this time of meditation, Bob, just beginning to take in some breaths of inhalation. Just breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you're breathing, just close your eyes and just continue to listen. Thank you, Lord. Just allow yourself to just rest in the presence of God that is here with us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, that as we breathe, we are breathing in more and more of you. Thank you, Lord. Breathing in your grace. Breathing in your mercy. Breathing in your loving kindness. Thank you, Father. as you continue to breathe, just bow your head and just allow your shoulders to be relaxed and allow your hands to rest gently on your, on your legs or at your side and just embrace this moment with our Lord, that he wants to love you and to show you the way of truth, the way of destiny, 
the way of purpose. Thank you, Father. As we breathe and listen to the word of the Lord. Judges 2 and 18 reads, Whenever the Lord raised up a judge for them, he was with the judge and saved them out of the hands of the enemy. As long as the judge lived, for the Lord had compassion on them as they groaned under those who oppressed and afflicted them. And as we breathe in and ponder the word of the Lord, we are reminded of the plight of the Israelites. Continually being faced with affliction, continuing to do evil in the sight of the Lord. But our God showed compassion upon them. Even in their shortcomings, our God loved them. Thank you, Lord, that as we, as your children, are imperfected, We are being perfected through your love. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For in this moment, we seek forgiveness for every way that we have fallen short of your glory. for every way that we have done evil in your sight. Forgive us. Forgive me, Lord. Thank you, Father. That you would give us a spirit of recognition that we will immediately recognize our faults so that repentance is quickly thank you Father that you are perfecting your imperfect people. As we breathe, let us incline our ear to that of the Lord's. as we listen to his voice, we silence ourselves in this moment.
thank you that your love remains. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Father, just allow us to walk in obedience to you. so that we can stand, so that we can exemplify your light in our lives. Thank you that you are defining the imperfect to be perfected. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As we continue to breathe, just beginning to gently lift up our heads, and just begin to shift parts of your body, your shoulders, or your hands, and just continue to take in additional breaths of inhalation and exhalation. Let us just open up our eyes. And with our eyes open, let us just take in a deep breath of inhalation and an open mouth exhale. <sighs> Thank you, Father, for the refreshing. We can't help to be just so humble in knowing that God will refresh our soul, will revive us in such a way that we can show up for today. And so know that in your imperfection, God is continuing to make you perfect because of his love, because of the guidance of his word that teaches us the path of righteousness. And so go forward today. Remember to meditate on God's promises and his precepts one moment at a time. God bless. Have an awesome day and go out and be great.